Okay, before we start, this idiot over there has issues with keeping the length of his recordings in check. I had to split the last recordings. Why am I mentioning this? Because I will tell you multiple times that I will not cut the recording. Well, alternatively, I could have replayed the final part, but then the genuine reaction to the plot twist would be missing. Now, enjoy me finishing the game. Finally. Okay, this time I take this door, I guess. <laughs> ah, okay, gotcha. Sorry, guys. Christ. Wasted a minute of your life. You were going to die in there. No, no, dude, that's fine. Mr. Mason, Dr. Mason, I work, or rather, I used to work in the treatment room. What was that thing? One of your lab rats gone wild? Well, you should know, of course. That thing is, or better yet, was one of yours. One of mine? What the hell is that supposed to mean? The CSR 03s your unit was transporting last night spread to the city, wiping out the entire population of Keensight. Each afflicted subject reacted differently to the effects of the toxin. As a matter of fact, the leak was so prolific that it even reached the dam, trapping many of Hexacore's own and transforming them into ungodly monsters. Prior to infection, the members of Haiti stationed there were administered an experimental additive that increases both physical and mental capabilities. But as a side effect, it seems to have generated some rather unusual varieties of form when combined with the toxic. Unusual varieties. I put down some of those Haiti things already, and they're completely different from what you don't get it. Not long ago, an Alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team. Meaning what exactly? By the time Alpha Team arrived, something had literally torn the survivor to shreds. But he wasn't quite dead. The bioscanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation, an anomaly. That's why the Big Shots ordered them to recover the specimen for analysts back at HQ. But what they found was something nobody expected. Both Castor and Pollux flourishing in harmony. The two harmony? viral agents Do you call this harmony? together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new wait are you saying that that thing out there is leave oh my god where did it go how the hell did it get loose i know it shit I can't stay here come on doctor but there's no stopping it don't you understand get the hell out of here boy but you don't have to listen i'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad then I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! Look. There isn't any other way. Go on, get out of here. Dead fucker. Better stay away from me. There's no time left. I have to reach the helipad immediately. Wait, okay, this is the way I was like. Bam, shotgun shell. Is this the way to go? I'm not asking any questions anymore, though. I don't care. Main shaft is the way to go. Loading, yes it is. I'm wasting all these shotgun shells. I have so, so I have so much pistol ammo, like literally couple max. Maybe they took them away from me. Who knows? Dude, you are all ugly. Ugly, ugly, no. No, 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 no. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. Please. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hey, hey, hey. We do. We do. What? What? Oh my god. This is a quick time event. Are you I opened it. Please. I know you're gonna. Yeah, this was kinda unfair. This is a quick time event. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, give me that, please. Yeah, dude, fuck off. I'm gonna kill you so Crap. hardcore. No, please. No, please. Um, D, A, S, A, D, D, W. Holy shit, they are fucking trolling me there.
And I don't want. Uh, A, D, S, D, S, 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 D, S. Oh my God! Why are you in front of me? The fuck are you? <gasps> okay, I'm a one shot. So he needs to be stopped with every explosive there is. No explosive there though, so I can go to the terminal. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Right. 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 God damn it, this thing's so stuck. Yeah, this thing's on a lot of fun. Okay. Scared from mutated leaf. I'm trying, hey. Can I just do the quick time event or does he start sprinting at one point? Dude, I'm wasting so much time. A W A S D D S A. I have to kill now. Oh, this time there's nothing here. Why is he not caring? Not, not that I would fucking care. Okay, this is fucking stressful. You please die. Dude, now, now you're starting to sprint? You're such an ugly fuck. Take a pistol, please. In your fucking hand. Blow it to the part. Where is he? Oh my god. Until the elevator arrives. How long is that? How long? Dude, this is bullshit. See? Dude. This game, this game is still not polished, dude. The sprinting takes forever. Sometimes the hotkey for sprinting is not working. He is clearly on his knees. I jump, I'm just coming too close and he fucking shreds me. The hell? Okay, so I can sprint two doors. And then afterwards I'm fucked. Gotcha. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. A A D W W D S D W S. Why is it always when I'm recording that everybody's following me? I'm not gonna complain, but Jesus Christ. This one. S W A W W W A Ness. So, this one is fine too. It's the next one where he starts sprinting like crazy. If I recall correctly. Morning. You, you're real, real, real. That's that's the moment, right? It is. Fuck. One is behind me. Please. Now can I actually move past him? I can, so what the fuck was that? What was that shitty issue? Okay, I can stagger him though quite a while here, I guess. And yeah, there you are, bitch. How's my ammo looking? Good. Super good, actually. Oh my god, this did not stagger him. Oh, it did. I hear something behind me, please, no. Oh my 
god, I have one more. And then this elevator better be here. Oh my god, yes. Do I just run for it? Or do I stagger him one more? Dude, no, not once more. Not once more. You take your fat, sorry ass, and you run right there. And you go into this elevator. And you, 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 you push the button. Well, whatever button you have to... I know this is a very long episode, but I don't think this is go going on for much longer. Contact Sandman. Major, I'm on the roof of the dam. The Citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's foobar. No survivors. Hold on. Yo, but hey, um, is this from where I came? Did I just trap myself? Mm, stop sprinting, for God's sake! But what now? Lots of ammo would be really nice. Is there some? Okay. Okay, it's shotgun time, I guess. I got so many slugs. But why are there so many of these guys too? Are you slow walking? I think that was my last one. Please, please. Oh my god. Nice music though. This is the moment where you start running again, please. So we're gonna do some nice circle running here. Shoot one shell. Sprint again. I'm just gonna ignore the others. Oh my god, he snipes me through his teammates. I'm blinking red. If he gets me once, then I'm probably dead. Oh my god, there was healing. Oh, he's gonna snipe again. Yep. Cool. I have absolutely fucking nothing. <gasps> Oh shit, I didn't dodge that one. I didn't dodge that one. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. This is bad. This is bad. This is super bad. What the fuck? What happened? The, what? He's making some weird special scream? Oh my god, dude. See, the issue is I'm, I'm thinking the whole time. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's not. I wonder if this is actually doing anything against him. Explosive! Dude, why am I so fucking blind? Uh, I'm almost as close as him. But that's fine. Dude, I was so focused on the other guy, Jesus Christ. More explosives, please. There are none. There 
have few here, but yo! I'm actually trip. Yeah, so I'm spitted there at the last second. There was no place to move. Oh my god. Okay. I was already like, dude, no way I have to like just shoot him. No, no, no way. Can can't be. Can't can't be. Can't be. Can't fucking be. <laughs> this one is good. Come right at me, bro. Where's the next one? This one might be good. Ah, this one's good. Dude, <laughs> he's not, not giving a single fuck. I like it. Oh shit. Where the. Uh, Mike, you're not making it easier for you, I tell you that. Dude, I'm stuck here at something. Of course. Okay, how am I gonna use. There are a few and a few odd places, I have to say. Music is good though, I like it. So maybe I actually need to slow him. Okay, this one is good. Close. I don't care. Now don't tell me I have to actually... Use it! You good boy, Raven. You good boy. We might be able to do this somehow. I don't see any explosives anymore. I think they're in the back. How the fuck are you supposed to? Yeah, you have to kite to me to hit you. Come here, big boy. You want me, right? No, for real though. Those are uh... I don't see anymore. Am I missing some sort of weird combo move on you? Uh, probably his back is open and I should have used these explosions to, you know. No way, no way I'm fitting through there. Oh my god, I am. Shotgun shells, please. Thank you. Did I fuck up my opportunities here? It feels a bit like it. Oh, yeah, sure. You bastard. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then? Oh, I see it now. Fuck oh, off. No, no, no. You can't, you can't be troll. Oh my, okay. So I played this whole boss fight completely wrong. Isn't that great? But now I know what to do. Now I know what to do. We have to do it the uh, hard way, I guess. That's just how I like it, though. You missed.
Dude, how does that fit through your friends, huh? I'm probably using even the wrong... There you go. Oh no! I kind of misjudged the situation. Hey Mike, in the first part you used explosives and then you tossed them, okay? Explosives. Now listen, you have to fight them again, they're again explosives. Okay, so you tell me I have to use them? Fucking genius, yes. Risky, Mike Risky. <laughs> Double fuck <fucks> skip. <laughs> Zip. I don't get this though. He's he's like literally not giving any fucks. I also need to like kill these. Zombies, because shit. Okay, this time I realized what he was doing. No, oh, come on! I heard him at the last second on my right. Okay, but that was some damage at least. I should get them all if I'm patient. You fucking camper. I'm out. I have nothing anymore. What? 40, 50? You're joking. No, you're not. Oh my god, he's toast now. Okay, big boy. I need you right next to some barrels because this will be kind of fun now. About, nah, come on, he didn't sprint again. This is pissing me off. Yeah. I'm only gonna use this gun. Now I know where the resupply point is. right there, right? You shut up. I need some shotgun shells too. I need the whole package for that dude. Uh, there should be. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Dodged it. Totally intentional. Okay. Let's 
explosives, please. Okay, there we go. Uh, this one. Am I actually hitting him? I really hope I did. Okay, get some more of that good ammo. It's gonna spit at me again, I heard that. Yes, sir. Oh my god, that was nice. I thought we reloaded that thing, man! Why do you do this to me? No! Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, that was... Why can I not fucking slow him this time? <gasps> oh my god, I fucked it up. Okay. Please fucking die. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you not dying, man? One, two, three. He's gonna spit. Ah, you bitch. Okay, three, reload, get our shotgun ammo, I have no idea why there are no more grunts spawning, but... Oh, he's gonna do it again. Good thing, Paul. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my god, please stay dead now, please stay dead. This is already taking nice way too kid. long. You already put that shit hawk in a fucking coma. Major! Man. That's hard to believe. I didn't think leave could get any nastier than he already was. Come on, Fuck. we need to get out of here. Like, seriously. Fall. Right, we better hurry. I know, I nuked there a little bit with the explosives. I was just about to say, he's... Life far too many times. He's got this here time, as well. Only one of us is walking away from here alive. What the fuck? The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bull. Ah, cinema time. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. Hmm. So, he got lucky. That's what he's saying. He got fucking lucky. Uh, when, uh, Aiden! How in the hell did you... Where? Oh, no. Sorry to disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. Hmm. What's going what on? What the fuck did he do with Lee? All right, she should be dead. And you're not. Wait. What? Who oh, did that to you? That fucking guy. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! He turned me into this freak! The antidote! 
I need it now. This? Give it to me now. You all right? Did I don't know, man, but you, with all these injuries and. Uh, you bastard! You remember me? You. You mass murdering piece of shit! I will never forgive you for taking her away from me! What? What the hell are you? Drop your gun right now! You fucker! You killed her! Why? What did my baby ever do to you? Hey, whoa. Whoa, calm down. Too many people have died already. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this... this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? Huh? I was there, soldier boy. I saw what he did to her. Soldier boy. Baby. Now, I suggest you get the fuck out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Go stand down. It's you, isn't it? Samuel. How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know. The music is, is a bit low. Really sorry. Oh yeah. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. Your wife. She was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck, baby. While you just stood by and watched me die. To be fair, you were already dead. No, that's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! Sam, baby. Are we really gonna argue over semantics? <laughs> just look mm. at yourself. You're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want. Shut That's up, all you ever want. Shut the fuck up! Just shut your mouth. Sam, who I? Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word. These people know everything about you. Fight it, they Samuel. They used you for their advantage. No! This is so. This isn't real. You She's dead. Don't listen to her, the Samuel. Since the moment you were born. Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah. Dude, if this game stops right now, fuck off, and they're not even giving me a nice ending. That, that's how it ends? After all that cliche, humor, cringe, buggy... Okay, alright, a short summary because I always do this at the end. 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10. Minus one, because the controls are sometimes awful. Minus one, because the acting is just just cringe. Uh, minus one, because the ending is just not nice for me and the fights are kind of weird. Minus point five, because, uh, well, reasons. No, what was good? Inventory management was kind of a hassle. Although I have to say, dude, this is really over. Resume cutscene. I don't want to skip it. Maybe there's coming something else, but it's so loud. I like that the game is not pausing when you have to reload, when you have to take mats. Yeah, that's a quick inventory system that I finally used in the final part of this uh, game. The tank. Um, that's good. Like if you have money to spare and you, you, you accept the cringe, then it's actually quite funny. I had my fun with it. Would I recommend it? 
to hardcore fans, yeah. I would recommend it to hardcore fans. From Resident Evil stuff and that. Oh. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? All three of them are alive now, or what? It's just that the controls are awful, sometimes stuff is bugging out, you know. It's... It really killed the fun a little bit. And the riddles. Holy shit, the riddles. There you go. I think 6.5 out of 10 is fair. I know this episode is long, but there's no way I can cut it. I actually will probably have to render this in 2K, not in 4K, because otherwise... Welcome back, sir. Boot up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report, K731. Personal code, FG956-5061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of K's involvement. Hexacore Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in Keen's sight. Good job, sir. <laughs> Access the main terminal? Are you shitting me? Following materials archive. Evidence number one. HAF4RG0 Delta surveillance footage. This is no news story or wait what Sandman shot him? What? 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 What the fuck? What's going on? Number two intercepted voice messages of Major Sandman Vulcan. Voice message with encryption code XDR. Zero, 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 three, five. Sarah. I would like to I'm gonna drop a review in the pinned comments. I'm afraid that's Guys. just not gonna happen. Does it work for him? The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now I gotta prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you. But mostly prove it to her. My precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the Aegis Labs to recover samples of Castor and Pollux. After which, you know what I have to do. Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. I know. So many innocent lives lost to save just one. But she's my baby girl. So listen up. I want you to leave Keen Sight, you and your Samuel, and get as far away from the city as possible. The gears of destruction are already in motion, and nobody can stop them now. And even if they could, I wouldn't let them. So, if one day my conscience does feel a little less guilty, it'll only be because I've not only saved my daughter's life, but yours as well. I know you know what it means to truly love someone with every fiber of your being. And the choices you gotta make to hold on to that love, to be with that person and share one last day, one last This minute, is so fucked up. One last tantalizing second. I couldn't live with myself knowing that I didn't So Leaf is no backstamping bastard? burning in hell for eternity. That should come easy compared to a living Actually, hell Sandman is the backstabber and Raven has no oh, idea. Day you can forgive me. But if you can't, saving Samantha will be enough. Two. Evidence number three, Sarah Carmichael's recording to Sam Walker. <laughs> Sweetheart, 
I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie, especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they. I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life, too. What's happening, one way or another, was inevitable. But at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it. How anyone could have done it. Even him. Especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu. Hexacore. Damn you both to hell. Oh, Christ. We're just a bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. What I wanted to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest with you. Beneath this city, behind your disease, lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner, rather than Dude, being obliged by this tragedy. Dude, what a massive Dude, it's, it's three... Th and uh, wasn't it's ready yet. three a.m. I was afraid and I have to listen to this. Them. And it's just, I will not be able to sleep. Sorry. It's, it's just so. Sorry. It's fucking me up. It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies. Oh. Monitoring one of our most important tests. You. For decades now, our mm. government has been experimenting what? in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and Keen Sight is one of the most illustrious testing zones, with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You. And hundreds of others like you are the end result of these tests. What and the we've been tasked with fuck. keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me. Because because I actually fell in love with you. And it wasn't just a job for me anymore. Toot, toot, toot. Dude. So when someone asks if I love my work, I tell them, yes. Thanks to you, I do. And maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before. And more importantly, I have I to would give never it to the game, though. Without you, of my own free will, if given the choice. The plot twists are nasty. Hold on. They're I good, but they're fucking nasty. They're. There's somebody out there. What the fuck? What? Did what? Evidence number four. ID tags of Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetic Supervisor, code two seven. Okay, this will probably not tell us what happened between Sarah and Sandman, I guess. 
I finally did it. I'm finally in charge of one of the most important research sites in the country. It took years to perfect the Truman Project together with those yes men at Hexacore, maybe longer. So to convince that Washington DC dinosaur Murphy to put me in charge of the whole operation due to their backwards way of thinking. It was either too young or too girly or too black, but in the end they had no choice but to recognize the crowns of my achievements. In another 30 days I'll be transferred to Keenside and from what the company tells me it will be a one-way trip and just maybe that's what excites me the most. Okay, I'm out of nine. Okay, I'm actually gonna read those. I've only been here a few months, but I think I've already tucked myself snuck as a buck into the rural community. Sometimes I feel a bit sorry for the people of Keenside, or maybe it'd be better to refer to them by their proper names. Vienna Picks, nice. Other times I envy them their simple small town lives filled with small town values. After all, the company ensures they're safe inside their giant petri dish. Closed off from all the shit of outside the world. I like to think that I too have helped create a sort of paradise here, and or perhaps another circle of hell. I'm still not sure yet. Hmm. The most difficult part of the Truman Project is officially underway, or at least in regards to my active role in the field. On researchers stationed here must have frequent contact with a subject in order to control it, and I'm no exception to the rule. Indeed, I'll have to lead by example. At any rate, tomorrow I will meet my special to be monitored. And judging from reports, it's clear that this one will possibly be the most important part in the whole study. I have to be on my best behavior once again. Meanwhile, I've been scratching on my arm for days. Just because everyone got the same chip integrated into the arm doesn't mean it's a good thing. After all, we researchers, not together picks the government is experimenting on with the program. Unfortunately, however, these are the rules of the game and I can't back out now. Oh Jesus, I haven't felt this good in years. The Truman Project is proceeding as planned, not to mention experiments too. I just can't hide my excitement thanks to the work I've been doing with my subject. That being said, this isn't exactly an official report. I could say my subject, Sam, for short, the person I've been tracking recently approached. Well, I'm starting to think something peculiar is happening. I know I shouldn't get this attached, but the company asked me to get closer, so... And they heard once what they heard once, right? Where's the harm in that? Hmm. With the recent transfer of high-level personnel to the new office space atop the dam, we find ourselves butting heads with the men from Hexacore special units. Mind you, Hades agents look like rock-hard war machines, who seldom interact with anyone outside the circle, and the HAF pilots seem to be normal kids despite the demanding tasks their company often gives them. The one in particular seems to be catching the attention of all the office ladies. His name is Hayden, though everyone's been calling him Sandman after the mishap in Groom Lake. I have no idea how he made it out alive, but I'd like to know more. Hayden, what an extraordinary man, even in face of the difficulties he's endured. Somehow I got him to open up about his past again and discovered that his wife left years ago because she couldn't bear the weight of his job. She even left him to take care for their only daughter, baby Samantha. I really feel some kind of connection to this man, so much so, so much so, in fact, that I'm feeling exactly what I'm feeling for Sam. The fuck, bitch? I'm going to do to deal with this, only time will tell. I should probably just concentrate on my work. There's so much text and it's so late. I thought I could handle it and said I wish I'd never gotten involved in this pile of poo. <laughs> I've been working on the Truman project for the company for four years now, but it looks like this isn't going to end the way I thought it would. We didn't come here to improve people's lives, we came here to test weapons of mass destruction. If that weren't bad enough, even though we've signed away our lives to these hexacore bastards with their government backing, they still won't lift a finger to help us, any of us. Hayden told me his daughter contacted a terrible disease and requires an experimental treatment that the company just won't cover. That's why he's been so distant these past few months. I want to do something to help and I always feel close to him forever. Oh my god. In the meantime, at least some good news came from all this. Sam asked me to marry him. Yeah, but... but Okay, a beacon of hope in all the darkness that surrounds me. I'm reminded that there are more important things in life. Now I know who my heart belongs to and I need to devote my life to him. I need to do my job as effectively as possible to make him feel better. Just because he asked first? I don't want to believe it, but Hayden asked me to meet him just outside town to reveal a sh scheme. There isn't much time left to save his daughter and the only way he can do it is by committing an act so utterly despisable it borders on nefarious. It seems that Kuronoso, an international pharmaceutical company, made a deal with Hayden to save his daughter in exchange for the destruction of hundreds, if not thousands, of lives, along with Hexacore as a whole. Worse still, it will bring our government to its knees by revealing the truth about experiments on the American people that have been ongoing for decades. He must have lost it, completely freaked out. Nothing, 
Not even loss of loved one can justify such a stupid and reckless decision. Mm. I'm pretty sure those bastards are using him. I just don't understand why the hell he doesn't see it. I need to talk some sense into him. I'm sure those are just the words of a desperate father, but I. But if he doesn't listen to reason, I have no choice but to report him to the company's internal affairs department. Though I don't know if I could live with that, with what they do to him. Okay, my pronunciation sucks now a little bit. It's 3.15 a.m. I want to do a short, like, 45-minute session, and it turns into this monster for recording. Hayden left the base and took a few days leave. Sadly, his daughter Samantha didn't make it. Oh my fucking god. A little heart gave out just two days ago. I feel sorry for him, but this could be a blessing in disguise. No, he won't have any reason to enact that nefarious scheme of his. From what I gather, he's got a long journey to the medical center where she was being treated. Treated. Though I'm sure he'll come back soon, and when he does, I'll be there to support him whatever way possible. To support him. Dude. What the fuck? No way. And just, just when you thought, just when you thought, it, it couldn't get more fucked. That shit happened. Okay, total time is 7 hours and 34 minutes. With a little bit of derping here and there. Played it on Damer, so that's nice. B. I guess. That's okay. 25 deaths. Yeah, alright. Okay, I'm gonna write a review for this game in the comment. In the pinned comment. So you can have a look over there. Thank you for watching. This is a very long episode. And it's not 4K because, dude, I cannot render... And I also don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. Well, no way. No way. It was just just a hell of a ride there. Ah, let's give it. No, it has to be. It has to be. Can't be better than seven out of ten. Minus one for the cringe. Minus one for the animations and for the puzzles. And then also the controls were not that good. Atmosphere was nice. The gameplay itself was okay. The plot twists are really unpredictable in my opinion. The plot twists. The, the plot piss. The plot twists are, are insane. They're nuts. Alright, thank you for watching. I'm not gonna see you in the next one because this is the final part. Love you all, thank you for watching, and bye bye.